What is going on all my beautiful homies, it is your boy Sizzle, and today we're going to be discussing my humble opinion on the new operators and the new map coming into Rainbow Six Siege in the following season. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first let's start with congratulating the community. I've been here from the start of Siege, man I love this game, I will play it every single day as much as hours as I can, it's just a beautiful game all around. So I would like to thank Ubisoft, I'd like to thank, you know, the developers, uh, Epi, especially you, and everyone else in the community managers who just really take the time to listen to what we gotta say and fix the bugs, and Operation Health is one of the greatest things that can ever happen in this game. I know I'm probably gonna get hate for that, but hey, they're making the game a finished product. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we recently reached a large milestone of breaking over 20 million players on Rainbow Six Siege. That is crazy, and an average over 2 million people playing daily. That is ridiculous. This game is only growing and growing, and I'm happy to be along for the ride. So, um, to celebrate that, guys, from August 24th to August 27th, it's going to be free-to-play weekend. So, hey, you don't have the game? Download it, hop in, and enjoy, and let's play together. Hey, and don't, don't knock yourself down if you ain't the best. Every legend has a beginning. Tell yourself that. You only can get better no matter what you do in life. So, let's get right into the operators. The first operator I'd like to talk about is Ying, and she has this gadget called Candela. I like to think of her like a fuse. She can either deploy it, shoot the flashbangs into a room, disable you, disorient you, mess up your shot, and turns out she's actually immune to her own flashes. So how's that gonna play out? I don't know. I'm gonna leave that one a mystery. Let's get into Ella. She's a defensive operator, and I think she's gonna be another baby of mine like Cavi. Cavi's my main. So, she has these sticky things you throw and deploy on the side of the wall or any surface. Now, this one actually does not deal any damage on you. This one actually just disorients you kind of like an echo drone. How will this play out? Who knows? We gotta find out for ourselves. Now, the third operator I'd like to get into is Legion. Now, Legion is a game-changing meta player. So here's what's gonna happen with him. He has these canisters you throw down on the ground and they combust. He's also a defensive operator. He has seven of these combustible cans. When you throw them down and an attacker walks right over across of it, it shoots a needle into your skin. Now you have either one of two options. You can let it slowly deplete your health and be disoriented, or you can go ahead and go into the animation and pull the needle out. Doing so results in possibly getting killed and at a high risk. How does that play out? I don't know. This is going to be very, very game changing, especially for those Ash rushers out there. I do main Ash, I don't typically rush in with her, but all I know is she's going to be very crazy. Theme park? Think of it as favelas, to narrow it down. This whole video is about my humble opinions, not actual factual evidence on anything that down to detail. If you want some of those, be sure to look on my YouTube channel in the next few days for about different things about Operation Blood Orchid. But as always guys, thank you for tuning in, it's been your boy Sizzle, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Xbox Live, follow me on Snapchat at Sizzle, and as always, keep it sizzling, and deuces.